On this episode of Pasadena Media Tech Talk, we're gonna go over the basic functions of the Panasonic AG AC90. Before the start of your production, it's really important to make sure your batteries are fully charged and make sure to do this the day before your production. To connect your battery to the camera, hold your camera securely with the lens facing down. Insert battery with contacts also facing down. You should hear a slight clicking sound indicating your battery is securely connected. In order to remove the camera battery, hit the push button located here, then pull the battery up and out. To open the SD card hatch, gently pull the latch out and up. Now insert your SD card into the designated slots, either slot one, slot two, or both. Close the slot cover and you're ready to go. To optimize steadiness during your shoot, using a tripod is key. To connect your camera to the Benro tripod, you must first remove the tripod plate from the tripod. To do this, you need to slightly unscrew the plate secure lock and then press the blue release button and slide the plate out. Now that you have the plate detached from the tripod, flip the camera over and fasten the tripod plate to the camera using the screw inserts. Notice that there's an arrow indicating which way the camera lens should face. On the tripod, you will see a matching arrow. Be sure to match these arrows up when attaching the plate with the camera to the tripod. Slide the plate into the grooves on the tripod and be sure to retighten the plate lock. Now that we have the camera and tripod secure, let's talk about some of the basic features of this camera. First, let's start with the power on switch. This is located right behind the hand grip. To power on and off, first push in the little gray button and simultaneously slide lever down. There are two ways to view an image using this camera. One way is to look through the viewfinder, or you can view an image through the LCD monitor. To use the LCD monitor, gently pull out the screen and adjust screen to desired position. If the image on the screen is black, check to see if the lens cap is covering the lens. If so, squeeze the two buttons on the cap to remove. There are two zoom controls on the Panasonic, one at the top and one on the side, as well as two record buttons, one on the top and one on the side next to the hand grip. To record, simply press one of the red buttons. You will see a red circle on the top right corner of the screen, which indicates record or standby mode. Once you've recorded some footage, you can play it back to view by switching from record mode to playback mode. Recording good audio is a great way to increase production value and professionalism of your shoot. There are two available inputs on the AG AC90. In this kit, you will receive a shotgun mic and mini XLR cable. Connect the male end of the XLR cable to the designated input and the female end to the shotgun mic or whatever mic of your choosing. Audio power setting should already be set, but if not, set the setting for input one and two to mic and on. Once your mic is connected and power source is squared away, you must select the input your mic is connected to. There are three on channel one and two on channel two. To adjust the audio levels being recorded, use the dials to the right. I also highly recommend using headphones when recording audio. The headphone jack is located here.
In manual mode, you can adjust your focus, zoom, and aperture settings by scrolling these three rings. The front ring being the focus, the middle is the zoom, and the last ring is the iris adjuster. If you are uncomfortable or just starting out in video production, using the auto settings may be helpful until you become more experienced with the camera. To set the camera to auto or manual, just toggle this switch here. Now we're gonna talk about the different functions of the tripod. After taking your tripod out of the bag, open up the legs of the tripod to stand it in an upright position. Slightly unscrew the pan tilt arm knob, adjust the arm to the desired position, then retighten to lock in place. To adjust the height of your tripod, unlock the brackets once, set to the desired height, and then close the brackets to lock in place. Here is your tilt lock, your pan lock, and your swivel head lock. Notice that there are two bubble levels to assist you in achieving a level shot. There's also a compass. This concludes this episode of Pasadena Media Tech Talk. Now it's time to go out, have some fun, and capture some amazing shots. See you next time.